Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new here, hi. Hope you all you are all well. It is 9.30 at night, I think it is. And Steve and I have just been to Aldi to pick up a couple of um, their surprise bags or boxes, as well as co-op. Um, I managed to secure a bakery bag from there and a grocery bag. I will um, put that in a different video though because otherwise it will be too long. But I am loving my local Aldi's surprise bags at the moment because as you can see they are piled sky high. Each of them, they were £3.30 each and from what a quick glance they don't disappoint me just like last time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to push one to a side and show you what I've got in one box. We'll get it out and then I'll show you what's in the next box. I'm trying to be a bit quiet because Shane is in the next bedroom, in the next room. He's got a banging headache, not feeling very well. So I want to get these recorded. Hayley is in the room opposite me. I don't want to wake her up. And it was a very late night last night. So I just want to get this recorded so I can get it up for you guys and um, go to bed to be truthful. So let's crack on and show you what I got for £6.60 from Aldi tonight. So we'll push this bag or box to the side. There we go. And we'll do this one. I'm going to try and do it best as I can. I've got a bit of the shakes with my hands. So I'll go transfer my phone from hand to hand. Hopefully it won't make you dizzy or anything like that or shaky. Um, first off, we got the cheese and onion quiche. This is, it was reduced from 30% off to 50% off. I'm guessing no one wanted it. So it went in the surprise bag. Shane likes quiche, so that could be for him tomorrow. We have six hot dog rolls. I don't plan on having hot dogs over the next couple of days. Although these would be fine in a, um, I store my bread products in a microwave because I don't have a bread bin. But um, they'd be fine in there for a couple more days. But because I'm not going to use them in the near future, I'll put them straight in the freezer after I've recorded this. Something I don't buy very often whatsoever is mushrooms. Um, these don't look completely very, like, really well. Some of them look okay, some not. I get if Steve's the only one that eats mushrooms, so he will benefit from these. But what I'll do is I'll put these in the fridge for tonight, and then tomorrow during the day, I will peel them and de stalk them and probably chop them up and put them in the freezer. Or if there's some really good ones, leave them, put them in the fridge, and then try and incorporate them into a meal for him over the next couple of days I mean you should never really wash mushrooms because they're like sponges they absorb the water um, but get them out I'll get them out of here brush them off and like I said de-skin them and they should be fine some of them just let them breathe in the fridge a little bit put them there then we have some apples which We've had a bit of an accident. It looks like one is completely squished. The other ones look okay. But as you can see, ugh, very, very juicy. I'm going to have to, it's leaking all over my counter. I will have to um, wash them up. Yeah, I'm going to put them straight over in the sink. There we go. They can go in the sink and so I can clean them up later. Three of them look good. I'll give them a wash. And then um, bin the other one. We have some scones. We have four all butter scones. Absolutely great. Scones freeze really, really well. So I'll probably put these in the freezer till we're ready for some. For a nice little afternoon tea maybe. Or Saturday for a nice little treat after lunch. We have four all butter scones with sultanas, which is... If I to make scones, it tends to be ones with sultanas in or cherries. But yeah, they'll be coming very handy. Just need to get some clotted cream now and some jam. Uh, we have a new item, like an item that's new in the shop. 
It is eight peri peri chicken sliders. Yeah, they look very nice. It looks it must be part of the um Christmas party range that's just going out. I will probably pop them straight in the freezer because I still do have a lot of party food in the freezer. I'm going to see about getting my cousin and her family round soon and um, maybe do a little spread, a little party because we didn't get to see them over the Christmas period. We've got eggs, eggs, eggs and more eggs. One packet, two packets. Oh, 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 three packets, three packets. Three packets of six eggs, lovely. And they are, are they large? They're free range. Oh, they're medium, right there, medium. So six, 12, 18, free range, medium eggs. And just because it's best before, those eggs, they can't tell whether they're gone off or not. They don't know time. They will be fine. I will test them before I go to use them to make sure they're still okay, okay to use. But, yeah, I'm pretty sure they'll be fine by the time I come around to using them. We have some more sprouts, as if we're not all sprouted out. But you can freeze sprouts really well. Prep them, blanch them for about five minutes in boiling hot water. Either plunge them into ice cold water or just let them cool down really quickly. And then put them in, the, in, in a sandwich bag or airtight container and... The, go in the freezer they will go so we've got one packet of them and we have two packets of them so that is what i will do with them and then all the topped and like the bottom bits and all the outer leaves the guinea pigs have so brussels never go to waste in this house we have another yogurt i had some of these in a couple of my other audi surprise bags i had the strawberry one a blueberry one and a mango think one I think and my favorite one was the mango but um strawberry one was still really nice because it's all well and good I could I could quite easily make a yogurt with a base and then put some granola on but it's portion control for me because I'd always put too much granola in my yogurt so it's more cereal with yogurt if that makes sense so you have some cut broccoli and cauliflower. Oh, oh, bit bashed up, but there's still some big bits in there. Looks good. That will go in the fridge. That will stay fresh for a few more days. Do that for a minute. We've got one more bag of broccoli and cauliflower. So that will do my family for a night, like for a dinner. We have another packet of four all butter scones. Then we have here another two of the specially selected strawberry granola yogurts. So we've got one, two. So that is really good. We're going to quickly put all this back in this box. Okay, well, I'll pause it and then I'll bring the other box over so you can see what's in that one. Okay, next box. I'm going to do this really quickly. We have six sliced Warburton rolls, burgers, burger rolls. So they will go in the freezer because we've got rolls out, we've got plenty of bread out. So they will go in the freezer for when we need them. We have big square crumpets. Nathan is the crumpet lover of the family, but I don't know whether he will eat square crumpets because he is used to them being round and him being him <laughs> if he sees it change to not what he's used to he's not necessarily going to like it i might end up with a, a, a stroppy three-year-old having a meltdown about his crumpets but we're trying with him if not Haley will probably have them for the weekend because they will last until then we have another yogurt which is the mango so that is my breakfast for tomorrow we have two more packets of apples, which is the British Large Royal Gala Apples. And these are big old apples. Big. We've already got loads of apples. So what I might do with these two packets and then the three from the other box, I might peel them and chop them up and put them in the freezer 
ready to make like an apple pie or an apple crumble for a pudding one night that'll be good we have two more bags of broccoli and cauliflower they both look okay so again they might last a few more days if not the big florets i might blanch and put in the freezer but i won't just blanch them and then just stick them in a sandwich bag like with the brussels i would lay them out on a baking tray put them in the freezer for about an hour and then put them in a sandwich bag so they don't all stick together and then i can pull out as much or as little as i want we have some more scones we have the all butter plain scones i think i've definitely got to get some clotted cream we have another new product which i've never ever heard of we've got a um, british and british beef and pork steak pie so how can you call it a british beef and pork steak pie uh, it's marinated slow cooked british beef with smoked bacon and caramelized onion in a rich ah there we go it's steak and bacon it's not like pork chunks like i originally thought but it's kind of like got a crumb to to topping on it really nice family size pie so that will go down really well with my family i just had to find another type of pie to go with it and then here we have more yogurts again yogurts can freeze really well i could pop a few of these in the freezer to make them last a little bit longer I don't know how the um, granola bit would go, but it's worth a try. No harm in trying a little bit. But then yogurts can't tell the date and the time. They could they could last potentially another week in the fridge. They would be fine, really. But I've got one, two. Ah, drop it. Ah, we've got two strawberry, another blueberry, which I like, and then another strawberry. And then we've got more eggs more more eggs lots and lots of eggs i've got a feeling i'm going to be either making a lot of scrambled egg do some baking i could do some pavlovas little meringues or again can freeze eggs and obviously not in the egg shell you can separate the egg yolks to the egg whites and freeze them separately portioned out ready for when you bake just make sure you label the bags or you could freeze them in ice cube trays or you can just whisk them up and then freeze them in ice cube trays i've got from when nathan was weaning i've got these uh, where are they there we go these big rubber silicone molds and if i have surplus eggs and stuff like that i freeze them in that and that's kind of like an egg size my lucerne so that's probably what I will do with some of those eggs. Myla, move. Go shut you in the cupboard. Move. Hey, little Miss Madam. Thank you. Yes. Myla. Hello. Hi. She wants feeding, so I better get this done quick. So we've got more eggs, more yogurts, more apples, steak pie. We have lots and lots of scones, lots of rolls, quiches. Lots of broccoli and cauliflower, mushrooms for Steve, lots and lots of lovely goodies. And all of this only cost me £6.60. Fantastic. Aldi, you knocked it out of the park again. Thank you so much. I'm going to keep my eye out now for not as often as I can because it wouldn't be fair. But there were more of these bags i've always got two to make it worth my while plus there's a big family there's six of us but um i think there was like seven or eight magic bags available tonight so there was a lot whether it's because of christmas or new year i don't know but guys download the app see what goodies you can get from your local shops restaurants cafes really is worth the money or or some are and um Sometimes it gets you to try new things that you never knew was about. But that's that's my Aldi haul for tonight. Please give this video a thumbs up. If you're new here and like surprise bags, 
as well as shopping hauls, you'll like my channel, hopefully. Hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so that YouTube tells you every time I upload a new video and go check out a few more of my videos. There is a playlist for all these two good to go surprise bags. I love them and I'm pretty sure you will too. Take care, have a great night and I'll see you again next time. Bye.